Well, good morning, friends. I see that it is the beginning of May. Um, somehow it's already May 1st. I'm not sure exactly how that happened. Uh, I'm just going to make sure. Oh, good. It looks like we are coming through okay this morning. So that is good. It's a beautiful morning outside. It feels like spring. It really does. Um, and I was thinking last night that the very first one of these that I recorded was back in March. And it, we still had some days that felt a lot like winter. Um, but suddenly now it's May. And so as I ask the question I normally start these with, how is it with your soul today? Um, it's with that knowledge that we have been in this for quite a while. So I'm reading a new book. Um, it's one, it's called Practicing. And one, the very first chapter is all about healing. And it talks about the way that if we don't um, have a good understanding of the reality of our condition, of what's going on, we can never truly heal from it. And that there are often a lot of damages that come as a result of that. Um, it also shared some definitions of healing, um, the one we all think of, which is fixing something that's broken, but also things like restoring to wholeness um, and bringing relief, um, greater functionality. So I'm thinking a lot about healing this morning, um, and especially the way that it is a very gradual process. Uh, back... Um, Late last winter, my son broke his wrist, and for a long time he had to wear this nifty little exoskeleton. Um, and it was a tough time because he had to rest from the things that he normally did. He had restrictions. He couldn't do what he wanted to do. Uh, but that was so necessary for those bones to heal the way that they needed to, so that now he... It, everything is healed, and he can do what he did before. Um, healing is gradual, and for me, that is really tough. I sometimes don't like to wait on those things. I prefer to be able to just jump right in and get back to the way I think things um, should be. But that's often not the wise choice. Um and it can be tough to ask for help in those situations to realize that I can't do all the things I used to before whatever the illness or sickness or injury was. But it's important to be honest about the reality because otherwise it just makes things a whole lot worse. And we can't move forward in healing without it. And so as I'm thinking about healing, I'm wondering how that might relate to where we find ourselves as we move into a new month ahead. So I'm going to encourage us today to start this new month with just a couple of questions. And the first one would be, what was hard about April? What was difficult about the month that we just finished? I know for me, there were a lot of things that were difficult, and maybe there were for you too. There may have been things that you missed. There may have been things that um, it felt a little bit like wearing one of these, that you were kind of restrained from all the things that you wanted, and it was kind of itchy, and it chafed, and it didn't mm, just didn't feel right. I'd also ask us to think, were there ways that the things that were already hard were made harder because of how we responded to them. Um, I can certainly think of a couple times in my life where that was the case, where something was already tough and the way I responded made it even tougher. I'm thankful that there is grace as we consider these questions honestly and Again, unless we know the reality, we can't move forward. But we are moving forward because it is a new month starting today. Um, May is just beginning. And I'd also ask us to just think about 
what are our for this new month? What are the things we want to be able to do that we hope happen? Um, and to admit those, even if we know there's kind of a reality that not all of them may be able to take place in the way we want. I'd also encourage us to think about what are our concerns and our fears about this month ahead? What are the things that um, we've got some worries about or we're just not sure? Or maybe we're confused and aren't even really certain what to think. Uh, but it's important to take the time to recognize and honestly name these things that we're thinking and feeling because when we do we're then in a much better position to be able to choose healing and life-giving choices in the weeks ahead and so i would encourage you to take some time to think about those questions today and maybe even jot down your answers somewhere a journal a piece of paper maybe share them with someone else um, if you would have no idea who to even share them with then you want to feel free to reach out and i'm happy to be a listening ear on those as we move into our time of prayer i invite you to be open to god's presence and work in this new month that we have ahead of us. So I'm going to invite us to even just take a posture of openness, openness by putting our hands, palms up, and breathing deeply, and remembering that the Holy Spirit is with us. It is in God that we live and move and have our being. And so as we go into prayer, I'm going to pray some words that were written by Howard Thurman as our invitation into this month that lies ahead of us. Lord, open unto me. Open unto me light for my darkness. Open unto me courage for my fear. Open unto me hope for my despair. Open unto me peace for my turmoil. Open unto me joy for my sorrow. Open unto me strength for my weakness. Open unto me wisdom for my confession. Open unto me forgiveness for my sins. Open unto me love for my hates. Open unto me thyself for myself. Lord, Lord, Open unto me. Amen. Well, as we do go into May, we will see you online on Sunday morning. Um, at least for the time being, know that our church leadership book is board is exploring um, how and when we can responsibly meet together again. Um, and like healing, that will probably have to be a gradual thing. Um, no matter how impatient we are and wanting to just jump back into the way things used to be, um, it may be a little challenging at times. But know that we'll be here meeting with you at 930 um, on Sundays and during the week to still offer encouragement and prayer. And as we wait, let's encourage one another and turn to Christ with our honest feelings. So in this new month of May, may the God of peace and joy, may God bring gradual healing into the fullness of your life. May you be filled with strength and hope, joy and peace, and encouragement when you need it the most. And may you lean on God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, knowing that you are never alone. Go in peace, my friends. Enjoy this beautiful day on this May 1st. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.